It is time now for the Peter Chill Saturday Morning News for the Saturday Morning, November 29th, 2014. Good morning, welcome to Saturday Morning, November 29th, 2014. Here are your news and I'm here. Our top story at 8.30 here is in Cairo, where an Egyptian court on Saturday will move it all. Remaining change of charges against former President Hassan Mubarak raised the possibility that Mr. Mubarak could go free for the first time since he was moved from office in the 2011 a president to find the protests here. Protesters forced to balls of three in St. Louis to close their doors and one of the businesses shopping days of the year. On Friday, as other protests were held nationwide, protests of Grand Jury's recent decision not to deny Officer Darren Wilson was shot and killed a black teenager this summer. Online retail Amazon celebrated its busiest ever day. Yesterday, St. Black Friday had surpassed all expectations. The company recorded orders for more than five and a half million goods with around six more items sold per second. Power is a dangerous thing in the hands of the wrong person. Roger Goodell overacted and overreached with Ravash, just as he did with Bounty Gate. An Afghan soldier stands guard inside a mosque through a bomb explosion in the Kagi district of Nagar, per of to Kabul and Afghanistan on Friday as Cabot raid Ford Guest House in a Gen Capital. A police officer and a protester in Portland, Oregon, shared a two for more during a Ferguson rally on Tuesday, which was captured by a freelance photographer in a moving photograph first shared in the Oregonian. As police officer and protester shared tea for a hug. In Kano, Nigeria, a hospital worker says more than one or two people were killed in the bomb blast at the central mosque in the city. Mortuary attended at the Mattel Specialist Hospital Kano. Bella Issa Labrador on Saturday told Associate Press the encountered. Pope Francis cussed his hands and bowed his head Saturday as he stood next to a stable multi Rabbi Yarin, who was performing a prayer in Turkey's 17th century Sultan Ahmet Mosque, also known as the Blue Mosque. A uh, private organization to investigate possible war crimes in Syria was prepared to expand its operations into neighboring Iraq, raising questions. For the prospect that the first criminal cases against the Islamic State leaders could be ready for prosecution within months. Gavin and Nitz had a showdown and waited GOP in 2016. And off to the MBTA bus driver was suspended with a pay and order held on fire to $50,000 bail after being arraigned on charges that he fired shots from a pistol during a confrontation over a proper spot near his home, officials said on Friday. Governor Jay Dixon says he will be called the legislature back to the Capitol in December to provide money for the Missouri National Guard and Highway Patrol to continue to respond to unrest in Ferguson. A man shot a woman and himself at a Chicago Norm Swim store Friday night in what appears to be a domestic incident, police said. Black Friday was a gray area this year. National reports almost universally suggest that Thursday store openers contribute to lackluster Fridays. On Friday, Brett Crude fell to a fresh four year low Standard Oil related shares that currency is lower after organization of the petroleum exporting country, which is OPEC, decided to get cut it up despite a huge oversupply in world markets. About 300 people gathered on Friday morning at a Walmart store near Union Station in Washington, and 11 Walmart workers and supporters were taken into custody at churches of Jevin Traffic Acts at a Walmart in West Midwest City, Chicago. Twitter introduced an app graph which will collect data on what app for apps Twitter uses have installed on their smartphones. Apple's iPad Air 2 and iPad Mini 3 may be on the market for a better or a beer wake, but in the eyes of the many, they are already yesterday's news. Samsung sold 40% fewer S5 phones than predicted. The Korean company must be scrambled to find out what has to sold 40% of the fewer Galaxy S5 smartphones than expected. The first trailer for the Star Wars. The Force Awakens has been unveiled online in U.S. cinemas as it was given fans an 88 second glimpse of the new film, the first new edition of the series since 2005. Rang Nine of the Wheel World was died at 29 years old, according to TMZ. The famous reality TV star was found dead by his friends on the morning of the Thanksgiving Day after a whole night of partying. The bronze fragments of the end. Antikythera mechanism in an ancient analog computer are older than science has previously believed. The Antikythera mechanism was first discovered in 1901 from an Antikythera wreck. A new study has advocated that social media is inappropriate for judging human trends on behavior. We have that social media several researchers have started to out their data for behavioral studies but out so they can be quite biased. NASA's Orient spacecraft which is designed to carry astronauts to deep space destination like Mars and Santa Claus our first, first test flight on December 4th. In a car, no idea National Guinea is known to have been affected by the Ebola virus disease, according to Indian National Basin Concary. 
He bought fast with previously caused an African and people all across the globe are involved in formulated solutions and easy tests to detect the disease that prevent it from spreading further. It's Box News here in front of the Bull Chase. Completed blockbuster trade by acquired third baseman Josh Donaldson of the Oakland Athletics for third baseman Brett Lyon and three other young players. Russell Westbrook's return to the court is a game changer for all. Club of City the first three other things we learned by the app. From the start of the second quarter on, when the Clippers went on 11 and nothing around, they pretty much joined the game against the Rockets. And the Boston Celtics lose last. Yesterday afternoon, the Chicago Bulls, 109-102, while the Boston Bruins defeated the Winnipeg Jets in overtime last night of the Garden, 2-1. And today, the New York Rebels will be at Gillette Stadium for the second half of the Eastern Conference Finals against New York Red Bull. Game time, 3 o'clock in Gillette Stadium. Peter Chaldusa, 8.35. Tied off for a little travel report, and it's smooth sailed highways, byways of New England Air, and expect traffic to be busy around the shopping centers as people are Started their Christmas shopping last yesterday and will continue to do that throughout the Christmas season. Here, Peter Chaldews, I'm 836. Ta da for a little weather report here. Our current nations here in North Massachusetts at 836 in water time. 22 degrees on temperature with fair skies. Humidity 89%. Wind speed is calm. Parameter 3.33 inches. 2.19 degrees. And visibility of 10 miles. All right, Kurgan Nation's ready to read here. It's a cold start for you, Martin. Here, 26 in Boston, 17 in Fitchburg, 18 in Bedford, 20 in Beverly, 14 in Averill, 24 in Gloucester, 18 in Worcester, 14 in Sturbridge, 16 in Webster, 23 in Milford, 22 in Norwood and Taunton, 24 in Bedford, 30 in Plymouth, 30 in Provincetown, 20 in Chatham, 23 in Falmouth, 30 in Cape Cod Bay, 24 in Barfers Vineyard, 29 in Nantucket, 30 in New York City, 25 in Islip, 31 in Baltimore, 31 in Lawrence Island, 23 in Bridgeport, 19 in Dwayne Vinets, 15 in Danbury, 16 in Waterbury, 19 in Meriden, 19 in Hartford, 21 in Winslow, 15 in Springfield, 16 in Amherst, 17 in Greenfield, 12 in Fall, 13 in Pittsfield, 13 in Northam, 17 in Albany, New York, 14 in Saratoga Springs, 11 in Bainton, 18 in Bradbury, 10 in Rutland, Vermont, it's 12 in Keene, Hampshire, 11 in Jefferson, Hampshire, 15 in National Hampshire, 16 in Manchester, Concord, Hampshire, 18 in Little New Hampshire, 19 in Portsmouth, Hampshire, and 15 degrees up in Port Maine, here. Okay, take a look at our map situation around the country here. Station front stretching from Washington State all the way down for eastern Wyoming and stretch it up to South Dakota. We got a warm station front from eastern South Dakota, down for western Iowa, down for western Illinois, down for western Kentucky. For the from western Kansas, down for western Oklahoma, down for western Texas. For the down for Utah, and another for the from Nevada, down for southeastern California, down for western Gulf of California, and a for the from Western Montana, down for Western Alberta, and a for the from North Dakota, stretching down to Saskatchewan here. Low pressure from North and South Dakota, Eastern Nebraska, and Southeastern California, and we got high pressure in Four Quarter Region and in the Carolinas here. 36 degrees in Washington, D.C., 34 out in Atlanta, 55 in Miami, 63 in Brownsville, Texas, 50 in Dallas, Texas, 50 in Kansas City, 31 in Chicago, 24 in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 44 in Denver, 56 in Salt Lake City, 38 out in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 6 below in Great Falls, Montana, 35 in Seattle, 57 in San Francisco, and 54 in Los Angeles, and 53 in Memphis, and 53 out in New Orleans. There. Okay, take a look at our spread out situation. It shows a lot of ring of snow showers by the eastern portions of Nova Scotia, some snow showers in southeastern portions of Prince Edward Island, western portions of Prince Edward Island. There. We got a lot of sleet showers around northwestern portions of Wisconsin and northeastern portions of Minnesota. Snow showers in western Quebec, now for Northern Ontario, now for Southern mm, Manitoba, now for northeastern portions of North Dakota. Snow showers in southwestern portions of Saskatchewan, southern portions of Alberta, and now for western and northern portions of Idaho, and western portions of Montana, and now for western Wyoming. Here. Rain slated snow showers around north central portions of California, up in the northern portions of California, and some rain slated snow showers around. Northwestern portions of Oregon and Western Washington State, that's the southwestern portion of British Columbia here. And some spotty rain showers around eastern Nevada, eastern Oregon, northeastern portions of Oregon, and northeastern portions of Washington State here. Take a look at the satellite loop here, and it shows. And shows a lot of clouds. Coming in much of uh, the New England states and from North Carolina, and then. Covered them up to the Great Lakes and all the way out to the 
Don't forget to touch the PlayStation and the button. I hold one button up the North Cal, North California divided and up the Oregon and Washington State. A lot of clouds from British Columbia stretching down Atlanta, Canada here. Okay, take a look at forecast. This gets red. We get here. Brutally cold weather for the Northern Plains. Welcome rainfall and snow for California and the Great Basin. A brief warm up for the eastern United States back Monday. After a couple of cold days across the eastern United States, warmer temperatures are expected by Sunday and Monday. On the southern floor ahead of the next frontal system brings temperatures back to the 50s and 60s for the highs. At the same time, Arctic air has been building up in western Canada. This Arctic front is forecast to plunge southward across much of the Northern Plains and Northern Rockies on the Saturday, bringing a drastic drop in the temperatures across the these areas, along with a light to moderate snow over the much of the intermountain region, Arctic air will also filter the Pacific Northwest with snow showers and some freezing low temperatures. By Sunday, the Arctic front should reach the Central Rockies and the Old Globe as a well to the Great Lakes. Some patchy freezing rain and drizzle can be expected over the Great Lakes on Saturday and ahead of a warm front before the very cold air wraps on Sunday. For the West Coast, periods of rain and high amounts of snow can be expected in Northern and Central California ahead of the cold front, which is Forecasts become quite stationary during the weekend. This is badly needed moisture for the dry, tricky region. Some of the moisture will make it into the Nevada. For the central Rockies there, mainly in forming some snow showers elsewhere. Expect dry and probably more weather this weekend across the desert southwest of the Southern Plains. The weather in the deep south should also be the high quality and warmer than normal temperatures for the time of year here. All right, take a look at the forecast discussion of our region here. High pressure provides dry but cold weather today. A warm front crosses the air late tonight and early Sunday morning with a low risk of some spotty light, snow, sleet, and freezing rain across northern Massachusetts and southwestern Hampshire. Mild weather streams across the region Sunday afternoon for Monday. The Arctic front that streams across the region Monday night bringing a return to some colder than normal condition Tuesday. Warm front may bring in a period of wintry precipitation Tuesday night and Wednesday. And no major change with this forecast update as previous um, observation of the forecast appears to be very hot. Nicely with current observations and satellite trends. Very cold across this region this water with temperatures about 20 in the cities, but outside the urban areas, deep temperatures dipping in the teeth with a few single digits. Such a dive above the Jeffrey direction. These spells are not record breaking, but above 10 to 15 degrees colder than normal. For late November, good news, not much of the wind chill with the winds very light. And take a look at these water notes there. Water temperature 49 degrees there. And I'm predicting today's highs around the region will be 29 to 35 degrees. Tonight's lows will be 20 to 30 degrees at tomorrow's highs, 45 to 55 degrees there. All right, let's take a look at what is going. Here's our seven-day forecast. First, we have to check at the hazardous weather outlook here. Day one, day to that. Hazard weather not expected this time. Day two for seven. Sunday for Friday. Hazardous weather is not expected at this time here. Okay, let's take a look at the seven day forecast. The goal like this. For today, parts of the sky about 35 degrees. West would about 5 miles coming at 7 in the afternoon. For that, slight chance of snow shots between 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. Most of the sky got low about 20 degrees. South would about 3 to 6 miles by chest patient 20%. Sunday, most of the sky got high about 53 degrees. South would about 6 to 14 miles by chest size 28 miles per hour. Sunday night. Most of the sky is low about 43 degrees. Southwest will about 6 to 13 miles per hour. Gusted high is 23 miles per hour. For Monday, parts of the sky is about 54 degrees. West will about 5 to 7 miles per hour. Monday night, most of the sky is low about 25 degrees. Tuesday, most of the sky is about 33 degrees. Tuesday night, a chance of snow and sleep. Most of the sky is low about 27 degrees. And chest patient 30%. Wednesday, a chance of rain, snow and sleep. Class sky will be higher about 51 degrees. And chest patient 40%. Wednesday, most of the sky is low about 37 degrees. Thursday, most of the sky about 46 degrees. Present that, chance of rain and snow showers. Most of the sky low about 32 degrees. And chest patient 30 percent for Friday. Most of the sky high about 42 degrees. Parents, what a phrase of the day. A sunny and cold day is happening. Up and down temperatures that much of the week. To start off the first week of December. This is Bay Ways. Have a good day. What a good day to all. 3 or 5, 5 o'clock evening report. Have a good day.